Macintosh is a transit for his suddenly changing in architectural style of Scotland. Macintosh, please stand up and exhibit yourself clearly. Yes, Your Majesty. I am Charles Rene Macintosh, born at Head Town area of Glasgow, Scotland, in June 1868. I worked in architecture as designer uh, and artist. Uh, I am son of William uh, Rene a police clerk and Marjorie Maurice, a fisherman daughter. My professor was John Kim. Macintosh, you are charged for 1. Changing the architectural style of Scotland. 2. These changes are not reliable and helpful to Scotland. The prosecutor, you can talk. Macintosh, can you say that you made a great sudden change for a whole country? No, I designed a wonderful exterior of my building and most of the interior and furniture in very unique style. What are the buildings you designed? I designed Hill House, uh, Chapter House, uh, Glasgow School of Art, and uh, Straight School of Scotland. Whom you worked with? I worked with, with my wife, Margaret, and my friend Harvey and his wife, Francis McDonald. How do you dare to infer Japanese architecture style in Scotland or Japanese use nature in their, in their design, which is very inspiring to me. Uh, as we can see, uh, Japanese interior are very unique and, and have a wonderful work in the mood, which give a warm sensation to a cold country like Scotland. How did you reach your decision? I, I am architect and designer and artist, so my work is to innovate, to create, not to follow. I object my fair lot on Macintosh claim because he suddenly changed all the architectural style and his claim it makes a great difference in Scotland. In my, in my opinion, I say that your fair majesty must arrest this prisoner by a fair great proof. Defense can defend the accused person. My fair lord, Macintosh is not accused and guilty of any crime except his love for his country. He is an artist and architect who has a clear and different perspective of what the history of Scotland will be. He raised and created the real value of construction of Scotland. Now, my fair lord, I'd like you, I, would, I, would, I want you to permit my first witness, John Kibbe. Mr. Kibbe, come here and introduce yourself. Yes, your majesty. My name is John Kibbe, born on the 4th of August. In Glasgow. The prosecutor, you can ask Mr. Kibbe. Relation between you and Macintosh. I worked with Mr. Macintosh a lot. We both designed the medical hall of Queen Margaret College, and also we uh, we we designed the Herald Building and the Marchy School. What is your role in Macintosh change in Scotland? I discovered his talent while working on drawing sections and constructions and also he find his point of view and create a new architecture style. Excuse me, Majesty. Do you really think this person can really harm this country that he has always loved? As we work together, I'm pretty sure that Mr. McIntosh did a great job for his country and the Scotch architecture. Also his wife, Margaret, he, she helped him a lot and she's been very support, supportive. Your Majesty, I'd like you to permit Mrs. Margaret MacDonald to enter. Mrs. Margaret, you can enter and exhibit yourself. Oh my husband, I don't know why you are doing all that to your country and your country do that to me. Oh my lovely beauty wife. Silence in the court. Mrs. Margaret, exhibit yourself. 
I am Margaret Macdonald, born on uh, 5th of November 1864 uh, in Kipton, uh, in Kingdom. Uh, I'm one of the most uh, decorative artists. The defense, you can ask Mrs. Margaret. Calm down, Margaret McIntosh. McIntosh is not guilty of any crime except his passion to his work. What is your experience? Uh, what is your experience beside Macintosh while he was working in his fascinating project? I am I am Macintosh's wife. I always pushed him forward in his in his work. My fair lord, this man is not only my husband, but he uh, he is a survival of the architecture style in Scotland. Do you really think such a great person and a much greater work could cause any failure to, to Scotland? How could you say such a thing about my husband? We, uh, he didn't take any decision alone. We, uh, we, we worked as a group of four, uh, sharing the, our ideas and to correct our mistakes. Okay, so want to add something? My fellow, I beg your pardon to really know and feel the, the person standing in front of your majesty. This man is not guilty of any crime, except his passion to make Scotland much better. He always wanted to improve the architectural style of Scotland. Then, look at his work. Is it possible for such a great work to cause any damage or harm for Scotland? In 1887, he wins the book prize Glasgow Cathedral. In 1888, awarded National Queen Prize for Design. In 1889, wins a prize in architectural design and a free studentship. Finally, I trust your majesty to really rule a fair verdict on architecture, Charles René McIntosh. The prosecutor, you can say your decision. My fair lord and fair consultant, my opinion is that no here anybody can Suddenly, change of architecture, style of the whole country, like what McIntosh did in Scotland. And I hope Your Majesty apply a fair rule in McIntosh. Silence in the court. The court has decided that the accused person, Charles Vinay McIntosh, is in innocent, <coughs> innocent from any charges he was accused of.